But apart from the, the other um, other direction, if um, the man is doing something that the wife doesn't like, how how can she let him know in a way that will not be like, too bad? What's the best way for her to let him know? Like, okay, that's also very important. Um, and this is what I say: choose the right time, choose the right atmosphere, and use the right tone. But it's, it's still coming. It still boils down to communication. So the right time. Don't do it when he's just come back from work. Don't do it when he's let's say he's a pastor. Don't do it when he's preparing for service. Don't do it when he's just come back from service. He's worn out, tired. He has spent the whole day uh, counseling people. Don't do it when um, he wants to sleep or he's hungry. Don't so choose the right time. He's comfortable. He's not hungry. He doesn't have anything occupying him. He doesn't have anything urgent he needs to do. Then, the right setting. You won't do it when you're outside the house, unless you know you have like a you're having a, an intimate dinner outside. That's fine. But you won't do it. You will do it most times when you are home. If you have kids, when the kids are not around making noise, the kids have gone to bed. When you it's you you know just two of you, and then use the right tone, so you don't want to confront. Eh? Uh -huh. I want to tell you. In fact, I want us to talk. Then what he, he said yesterday, there was a way he told me to shut up. I, did, I didn't like it. I'm not your house girl. I don't know if you know. I'm not your house girl. In fact, I'm tired about. I'm tired of the way you talk to me. I'm just. It, it makes me sick. Do you think you're going to get a right response? No, you're not going to get a right, right response. You're going to. You're going to get trouble. You probably get a slap. So choose the right tone. Go. I wanted to raise something with you. I don't know if this is the right time. Are you okay for me to go ahead? You say, go ahead. You say, I felt, I've been thinking about what you said to me yesterday and I've been feeling bad about it. Are you okay for me to talk to you about it now? You say, yes. You say, there was a way you talked to me. I didn't really like it. It made me feel very bad. You know, it, it, just made me feel a bit worthless. I know, I know you didn't mean to, but that's how it made me feel. Yeah. If there was something you did, you can say, "I'm really sorry. I did this. I didn't mean to hurt you. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't done intentionally. But I was shocked and upset after you spoke to me. You know. Um. You, if you if you do it the right way, you get you get the right response. You probably say, "Oh, I didn't mean it that way," or whatever it is. Even if he doesn't say anything, because sometimes he may not even he may not even answer, he may not even say anything, but he would register it and probably address it at some point. But you see that as your communication begins to grow in marriage, because you don't everybody doesn't start up there. You start where you are. As your communication begins to grow, it will be easier to apologize. It will be easier to rectify differences. It will be easier not to say the wrong things. God bless you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and look at the other, other masterclasses on relationship that I have. And very soon I'm going to have masterclass on uh, success coming soon. So you make sure you hit me up. Subscribe to my channel so you get a notification whenever a new class is uploaded. God bless you.